Welcome back, Agent. When it comes to battle, you'll learn quite quickly that not all effects of an attack are static boons or negatives that will impact your ability to do something in a fight. The attrition effects are among the more deadly ones to deal with, as they not only damage you every round they persist for, but many other abilities and heroes grow stronger, exploit, or even gain new powers when certain effects are on the field. And unlike the Paragon and Finest Hour effects, exploiting attrition is a little harder to do. The first and most common of these effects that we'll cover is bleeding. A rather basic effect, bleeding can stack up to three times on its target, and will not only cause damage to them every turn, but for every hostile action that they take in battle. This includes both follow-up attacks and counter-attacks, so placing it on a foe that takes a lot of actions can quickly wear them down over the course of a battle, whereas all the other attrition effects will only do damage every single turn. There are other effects, though, that increase the power of bleeding. Ravaged makes bleeding targets take 50% more damage for every stack, which can wear down a fighter even faster. There are also many abilities available that are hemorrhaging attacks, which immediately cause the bleeds to trigger even if the target hasn't done anything. Burning is the next effect that you'll often see. Along with the damage it does every turn, it will also lower the target's defense by 10% while being cancelled out by another effect that we'll go over later called Chilled. Secondary effects that work in junction with burning include Pyrophoric, which causes all nearby fire and explosion attacks to trigger the effect for extra damage, and Combustible, an effect that increases the damage of an attack when not used on a burning target. There is a third effect that's related to burning, but because of its special nature, I'm classifying the effect separately. Soul Fire, while being treated and acting like burning for the purposes of battle, has several other dangerous effects. For one, its damage is magical in nature, which must be taken into account with certain attacks, abilities, and foes, much like bleeding. The second major effect it has is that when Soul Fire is applied to its target, most beneficial effects will be removed, greatly weakening them. It should be noted, though, that Soul Fire does not reduce defense like burning does. Chilled, while a bit less commonly seen than burning, works fairly identical, doing damage every turn and lowering a stat by 10%, in this case, evasion. The magical effect related to Chilled, Death Frost, is a great deal more threatening than Chilled in many respects. For one, Death Frost will also eat away at the target's stamina as well as their health, leaving them less options for an attack in battle. The 10% reduction to evasion also jumps to 50%, making enemies a great deal easier to hit. It should also be noted that both Soulfire and Death Frost will replace their normal counterparts, so you will not be able to stack them together. And unlike Burning and Chilled, Soulfire and Death Frost can be on the same target. Going from one magical effect to another, Dark Void is rather odd. It's commonly used by those who deal damage in the magical arts, but it seems to be very basic in its effects. Other than the damage it deals, it lowers the target's accuracy by 10%, and that's pretty much it. Perhaps what makes it more potent is the fact that it's almost always found with another effect. Perhaps one of the most beneficial effects that you see along with Dark Void is Bane. Bane makes all magical effects, be they damage over time like Soulfire and Death Frost, or straight on magical attacks do increase damage. ISO Corruption, while probably the rarest of the effects for us here at Shield to use, is something you'll see often from villains who are using the powers of ISO 8 incorrectly. Stacking up to 3 times, this will do damage to you every turn as well as decrease your stats by 10% for each stack. It will also be occasionally caused by more random abilities that some heroes have, so be sure to keep an eye out for it. Poison, which is becoming more common as of late, is rather odd. Like most of the other attrition effects, it will do damage every turn and lower a stat by 10%, in this case attack power. What makes the effect odd is that there are many different versions of poison to be found, with some even acting like incapacitation at the same time. They're quite specific though, so it's something that we'll have to wait for later when we go over the heroes. Finally, the last effect that we'll go over is Radiation Exposure. This is perhaps the most dangerous of the effects if only for the amount of damage it's capable of. Not only capable of stacking up on its target for a total of 4 times, it causes all energy type attacks to deal 10% more damage for every stack. This can make even the weakest of energy attacks hit like a truck. Simply put, do not take radiation lightly. 
With that all done, it appears that I've taken up a bit more time than I intended, Agent. So I'll see you next time when we go over the power of opportunity. Till then, dismissed!